everybody. Today I'm on Pettigene Mountain and I will be showing y'all the top three things to do on top of Pettigene Mountain in the summertime. Let's get started. Our first stop is the Bear Cave Trail. This is a fairly short trail and this takes you along... Well, actually, I don't know. I am not too sure. There's not really a sign. There's not much here about the trail. Ah, here we go, right there. There are a few things to see on this trail, such as Eye of the Needle, uh, I believe you say it Monath, Monoth, Monath, Sandstone Rocks, and of course the caves. There are two caves, I believe, and this is a fairly short trail. It's only a quarter mile, so it takes about 30 minutes, maybe an hour, depending on how fast you walk and what all you wander off and explore. Let's hit the trail. It looks like this is a multi-directional trail, which means you can go either way and it is a loop. So that's good to know. And it's labeled green. On the international scale, green means easy and beginner friendly. We have arrived to our first cave on the trail. Check this out. This is pretty neat. It's not a big cave. I mean, the end of it's just right there. There is a temperature difference though. And it feels mighty fine in there compared to out here. It is pretty humid out here today. And the bluffs, look how huge these bluffs are right here. That's pretty cool. I'm impressed with this hike so far. Let's keep going. So I think this is the eye of the needle. And this is literally right next to the cave. The cave is just right down there. 30 yards, 20 yards. I didn't walk very far. Looks like you can walk up into it a little bit. This is actually really, really neat. I'm impressed.
Guys, this is super neat. Even this huge, it's dead and it, the top's falling out. But that was a massive tree. I mean, here's my hand for scale. I mean, I guess it's not that big. I think it's a pretty big tree. But gosh, it's, it's kind of cool. It reminds me of a slot canyon out west somewhere, but Arkansas style. So this trail kind of splits up in the different routes here. I'm gonna go on this one first. You see where it goes. I may not even go anywhere. I may just go to right here. I'm on top of pretty much that whole canyon that I was just in, which is all down in those cracks, all down in there. And they're all over, all over this place. Yeah, it looks like you can also see a cabin from here as well. Pretty good view. There actually is a little bit of a breeze up here. It's still hot though. Which is why I chose this short little trail to do in the summertime. Because it is short and it's fairly easy and there's a lot to explore in such a short amount of distance. So in the summertime, if you're sweating and you're hot, you don't want to be out in this very long. Especially without a breeze and all that. And especially how it is right now in Arkansas. Anyone that lives here, y'all know it is very humid all the time it seems like. All right, we have made it back. That was a very easy, quick, short trail, which I enjoy when it's hot. Now that the Bear Cave Trail is complete, Let's go to what I recommend for number two on top of Pettigene Mountain. Second on the list is the Rock House Cave. And the trail is marked with the purple color. Let's see, here's some interpretation about all this. Let's take a gander at it. So that's pretty cool. So we will also see the turtle rocks and the cave as well and if i'm not mistaken there are pictographs in here i think i think that's right i think it's pictographs or hieroglyphics i don't know it's one of those maybe there's some signage about that down here it is thundering like crazy out here and it's really dark over that way I know there was a storm, or I could hear thunder, whenever I started the Bear Cave hike. And I was looking on the radar on that, and it was going around us. I'm not sure if this is uh, gonna go around us this time, this next go around. But we'll see, we'll see what happens.
these turtle rocks are actually really, really cool. Wow, this is so cool. This is a huge cave too. And all the caves that are up here, this one and the ones on the bear cave, and I'm sure there's many more up here. These are all naturally made caves. These are not man-made. They didn't blow up any rock or anything to form these. Pictographs, that is the correct term I was looking for. And I know there are some pictographs I've seen them before, and of course it is low light right now. The sun's really not out. I think a storm's rolling in, but I know there are some. I just don't remember where. The park interpreters here at Petagene, they give guided hikes and interpretation tours up here, specifically for this trail and many other trails around here as well. And if you get a chance, I highly recommend you sign up for the interpretation program for this trail specifically, because they will point out to you where all of the pictographs are in this cave. It is super, super cool. I actually didn't know that Arkansas had anything like this with the pictographs and all that. This is the main attraction, but there's also, a, there's a little bit more left. I think there's a little overlook up down here and all that. Let's keep going and let's see what else there is on this trail. So this is a nice little overlook. Right now it's a little overgrown, it is summertime. So it's not the best overlook on this mountain. In the winter time it's a lot better when there's no tree foliage on. And that is a wicked storm coming in. Check that out. Wow, the wind just all of a sudden picked up too. But I don't think it's very big. Oh, wow, I feel the cold breeze. And the food from the lodge, that smells delicious. Wow, this is intense. Everything just changed up here. It all just changed. All right, it is now lightning. The main overlook for Cedar Falls is actually just right across the way here so it's actually right over there a very good interpretive trail it is ada accessible so that was the rock house cave trail super short I don't even know if they actually give a distance for this trail. Super short, super easy, highly recommend it. It is very, very impressive, very impressive. And there's also two pit toilets, which is nice. A lot of places don't have 
any kind of amenities like that at a trailhead. And it is starting to sprinkle a little bit on me. I don't think it's actually gonna storm or rain here. I think we're just kind of getting the side effect of it. But there is one last thing that I recommend if you're visiting Petagene on a summer day. There's one last thing and we'll see you there. So number three on Petagene Mountain State Park is this overlook. And that thunder and storm I was just talking about, it actually just poured down rain, but I'm glad it did because this is one of the most beautiful views I think I've ever had from here. And the sun is blinding me right now. But check this out. Is that not beautiful? And there's also this nice little map here that tells you which mountains are what out there, which I love. I love geology and geography and just maps. And I'm a geek about all that. I love it so much. So you can actually see the tallest peak in Arkansas from here as well. You can see a lot of peaks and mountains and stuff, but the biggest one in Arkansas's tallest peak is Mount Magazine, which I have the vlog I did on that a couple weeks ago. I'll link that below. Be sure to check that out. And that mountain is right over here. Right there. That is Mount Magazine. And gosh, this view is gorgeous. Just gorgeous. There are actually two parts to this overlook. This is the first one, probably my favorite one, but there's a second one just right down the road. So let's go check that out. This is a gorgeous overlook. This is the second part to the first one I just went to. And it has this cute little pavilion here. And guys, check out this double rainbow after the storm. Lovely little pavilion. This is actually built by the CCC and this is actually a CCC park along with, I believe, three or four others in Arkansas. So this is the final stop on the three things to do on Pettigene Mountain State Park in the summertime. And the reason I chose these is one, it, when it's hot, you don't want to do a whole lot of hiking and you want short, easy, but still adventurous things to do. And so those two trails, the Bear Cave Trail and the um, Rock House Cave Trail are two excellent ones to visit, explore. There's lots of things there to, to explore and see. And then this overlook is the perfect place to end the day, see a beautiful sunset, and I mean, who knows? It might have a storm pop up just like what happened to me and see a rainbow. That was gorgeous. That was so unexpected. So two, I chose these because I didn't choose like the Cedar Falls and some of the other trails up here because I will be making another video. And I think those trails are better in the fall, winter and spring. So there will be another video out on the things I recommend up here for fall, winter, and spring activities. So stay tuned with my channel and be sure to check those out whenever I get those uploaded. And those were the three things I recommend doing up here on Pettigene Mountain State Park. The Bear Cave Trail, the Indian Rock House Trail, and this is the Red Bluff Overlook. I highly recommend those three things on top of Pettigene Mountain State Park in the summertime. So if you are planning your visit, be sure to put those three activities on your bucket list when you come up here. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. I hope you enjoyed it. Remember, keep it wild. <music>